Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's play some space exploration. Uh, so I did, as I said, I would do off stream. Uh, Amadeo has, I think it's 17 drills now. Uh, what's, what was that? I think that was one of the old false alarms from the outposts. Uh, but yeah, uh, just added some more, added some more rail, more drills. Same thing over and over for a little while. Uh, we've now got, I think it was 17 of them. Yes. And, oops. Fantastic. And our 17 drills add up to 80, f wait, no. Uh, 112 core frags per second, basically. Which I think is a pretty big increase over our other three. Verb T, uh, we're looking at... Where's the nearest drill? 19 times this. Just under 70 per second. Orpheus. Uh, Orpheus is currently at... 25. 82 per second. So we've almost added those two together um, on top of what we already had. And Plato, the biggest one before the newest outpost, was what? 18 times this. 110.4 per second. Yeah, so we basically added another Plato plus a little bit. Um... And we can somewhat easily expand on that. There's like a couple... I think they're up here. And like a couple down here somewhere. There's a few more drills that aren't too far away, but I didn't want to make the trim too, too big if we don't need to. Glacier Wolf, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, so yeah, that is more Holmanite coming through. Uh, let's see. Core frag Holmanite. Consumption. Last hour, 20k per minute. Last 10 hours, 15. Uh, you can see it trending upward there fairly obviously. And the production. Very good. More importantly, um, we're actually starting to, dare I say, see Holmium ingots start to accumulate. Uh, I might be a little optimistic here, but yeah, the provide threshold is exactly 100 stacks here, so there's another 50 that haven't been picked up. Plates saturated, at least at this one block. Um... I don't, suppose, I don't suppose any of these other six are looking that good. We do have another train load of Holmium Plate over here, so yeah, kinda. I haven't had it running for that long yet. If we've been making a uh, Holmium Cable at 180 per second for a good while, that would be a pretty good sign. Oh. Oh yes, please. Almost a perfect straight line for the last hour. I'm pretty sure less than an hour ago game time is when we finished the last of the new drills. So yeah, that's that's looking a bit better. But what I really want to see is for this to just be a flat line until Holmium Cable is saturated. Assuming of course that 180 Holmium Cable per second is even enough to feed the base at its hungriest. Oh, that's where I didn't pick up those two... extra pieces of... marked for deconstruction belt. Fantastic. Alright. 
uh, so we actually did finish the last uh, worker robot speed 16. And we're trying to knock off mining prod 17 now that we've got some uh, matter science pack 2s. That was pretty much bottlenecked on canisters. Canisters are saturated again, even though we got rid of the limit. Nice. That means there's way less demand for superconductive cable. That might take a while to saturate all over again, though. Uh, and more to the point, maybe our demands on holmium cable are going to calm down a little bit. Good, good, good. As we see the last of it get gulped up. Alright, so what's our next bottleneck to push, I wonder? Um, how about we check on the Arcosphere Collector? Oh, we've already got 500 more. Good to go. Fantastic. Cleared out all the extra stuff from here. Uh, how about we go and visit... Have we been in this whole area now? Sea of Sorrows, Shadeland, I think we have. Shadeland... I don't think we have... Yes, Sea of Sorrows, there it is. Black Mirror, I know we've been to. Dead Space? Lamau? I'm pretty sure we haven't been to Dead Space. Let's go there. Asteroid field 1140. Uh, that's the wrong spaceship. Asteroid field 1140. And via phone astro, please. Fantastic. Evil Pla, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And I forgot to press the extra seven buttons to make the sound program run. God damn it. I went out of my way to try not to forget today. Hello, my fellow belt and gear engineers. Indeed, indeed. I saw a video saying uh, playing Factorio basically makes you a software engineer. Um... It's having a little bit of fun with it, but somewhat true, yeah. Uh, boss greeting noises. There we go. Okay. So we sent our Arcosphere collector ship out to bold new frontiers. Um, are we actually keeping up with Naquium still? Yes, yes we are. That's good. Very good. And we've got tier 9 prods in the first two steps all the way through now. How many prod modules do we have? Let's see. Uh, I can only search for one type of item at a time with factory search, so I think we'll just look at it this way. Four prod nines. Oh, wow. 103 in the space mall. We've got like 58. No, uh, 53, uh, I think it is. Efficiency modules. 55 speeds. I don't think there's any left downstairs here. Oh, there are four prod modules here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think I got rid of the prod modules that were in this machine when we duplicated the build. MGN, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need some similar skills, but making good software is a different story. Of course, of course. Yeah, but there's a lot of parallels in the way... Uh, the way things are flowed, uh, the way things are structured and flow with bottlenecks and stuff like that. How can I get your rail blueprints? Uh, check out the Discord. 
just updated them today, actually. 195, no head, welcome in. Artur's like it, good to see you again also. How many more spheres can you still get? Honestly, it's hard to say. Um, Veldak could tell you a bit more about it. He's He's been collecting a lot more spheres than I have. Um, but, I mean, we've already collected... Arcosphere. All time. Production. Uh, we collected 783. And we're still getting... Last time we sent the Arcosphere Collector out to a new... To a new asteroid field for 500 launches. Um, we still got 44 Arcospheres back. I think the last two times we got 44 Arcospheres back. So the uh, the global diminishing returns are not as severe as I was afraid of. It seems like we might be able to we might be able to get like all the Arcospheres we could possibly want if we're only going to use uh Arcu link chests is this moving yes if we're only going to uh, use Arcu link chests for getting core frags back to hagen then we should still have way more Arcu spheres than we need even if we break this up into several builds which we're probably going to have to do to be able to um to be able to keep up with our... Is that really only... Oh, it needs higher tier modules. Yeah, to keep up with our three per second, for no matter what type of science target, uh, I, I think we're going to have to have... If not a separate balancer dedicated to each of these, then maybe like a pair of these two blocks together with their own balancer. That reminds me, I, I wanted to, like, because it's a bit probabilistic, I wanted to experimentally figure out what kind of deficits... What I really need is the machines plus the balances working with each other. To get an idea of the drift away from balanced Arcospheres with each sep uh, separate build. I don't know. Thank you, you're welcome. Um, where else can we expand? Are we keeping up with Vitamelange still? Sure looks like it. I'm quite sure we overbuilt these to be able to eat all of the Vitamelange core fragments coming in and more. So if they're actually backed up at Bombatu and Picard, uh, 16k core frags, that's not, not a lot. Picard, 28k. Kind of hard to tell at the moment. Uh, I was going to say... If this stuff's actually backed up, then we're doing very, very well for Vitamelange, I should think. Okay, uh, what's going on here with the trains? Oh, it's just space elevator traffic. Cool, cool, cool. Speaking of which, the traffic around here sorted itself out at some point. Maybe it's because we were playing catch up with the Coke for a while earlier. Well, that's part of the reason. Uh, but yeah, we've now got very saturated steel ingots. So I don't think we're going to see as much... Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're not going to see as much throughput of coke for a while. Which means fertilizer and wood... Oh, wow. That flipped from only ever up to one train load of fertilizer available at any one time to completely saturated very very suddenly good good good
now I kind of don't know what I want to work on. Um, because we need to give it a bit of time to see if we need any more Holmium plate. We need to give it more time to get ludicrous amounts of prod modules to upgrade lots of things. We need to give it time to see where the bottleneck shifts to, wherever it may be now. Oh, here we go. Um... I feel like I already built the Iridium production chain for tier 9 modules. But maybe we could do a bit better. Maybe we could reduce the amount that we need to involve trains. Oh look, I was supposed to direct belt from here. Did I forget? Where, where even is the drop-off? Way up north. Because I'm thinking maybe we should redesign... Uh, maybe we should redesign Iridite. Not enough sulfuric acid? Bruh. Are we bottlenecked on sulfuric acid for iridite? I did not see that coming. Sulfuric acid, we don't actually make it where we make most of the oil products. Uh, it's literally just here. No? Sulfuric acid is totally saturated. Are we short on trains? Doesn't look like it. Did I... Is this misconfigured somehow? We're looking for 100k sulfuric acid. There's approximately zero. So why isn't a train scheduled to bring it here right now? Do we not have enough fluid wagons? Considering this fluid wagon has gone four seconds without getting a new schedule, it seems like we have enough fluid wagons. Oh, there it goes. Uh, let's see the other depots. Fluid wagon just chilling here. I I'm pretty sure we have enough fluid wagons. So, why are we not... Why are we not picking up the sulfuric acid? Provide threshold 60k, we've got 200k. Train limit. I mean, LTN would schedule even if the train limit was busted. Captain True, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Just checking in. Nice to see the squirrels giving you a hard time. Well, what else would I do if we, uh... If we had nothing to do but wait... <laughs> when we make a big change to this very large system. I don't understand how we're not delivering... Oh. How did we even get... I'm actually super confused how we got sulfuric acid here in the first place. I think it was because I salvaged what was already there and pumped it in, so we never actually had a train come here. There's a request stack threshold, but we don't have a request threshold. Which is what we use for fluids. Yeah. That didn't take very long. One sec, time to grab a drink.
Okay, so there's our sulfuric acid. Fantastic. We don't actually need very much. Even if this runs at full speed continuously, it only wants 16.5 sulfuric acid per second. Not a big deal. That said, even if there's no strict need for it, uh, looking at those sulfuric acid builds, I kind of wanted to upgrade them. Because why not? I just want them to be shaped. So the, the only upgrade we would ever want to bother with is just modules. Oh, wow, this isn't even using tier 6. Oh my god. Oh, that's embarrassing. Especially when we've already got the tier 6s in the sulfur. I guess we upgraded this when tier 6s were kind of a little bit precious still. Um, so let's see. If this is running at full speed, if we were to ever put in top tier modules, why is this not powered? Should be 13 and 7. Not 7 of those. Minus 80%. Plus 600% power. Okay. So we have red belts for output. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I think the shape of the part where we actually produce sulfur is going to look completely different if we ever fully upgrade this. 158 sulfur per second per machine, and it wants 1.3 thousand petroleum per second, not to mention water. That's, uh, that's a little extreme. Um, we'd probably make a much smaller build than this entire block. But at the very least, I did want to add some storage here. And there should be no need for the... Whoops. Yeah, no need for the uh, train limits. Come to think of it, I don't know if I ever finished the job. I did. Yeah, so we have LTN delivering to... Like a... Holding spot. And then vanilla train schedule sends it up the elevator. We've got a, like, a shed schedule where one train handles these two. Because we need significantly less than a whole train to keep up with the fluid that we send upstairs for most of these. Um, I can't remember where we actually transfer it over. Yeah, no, it's not here anymore. Where... Did we... Did we just... Where did we finish building that? Oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the pumps directly connecting the two trains. Cool, cool, cool. And they're all just waiting for LTN to deliver to them, and then they'll take this or that fluid upstairs. Cool. Um... So yeah, we definitely don't need any logic to control the train limits for vanilla trains here. And I don't see why we should have any regular pipes here at this point. And 
And same thing down here. Uh, and I want this part updated also. Okay. Hopefully I'm carrying enough steel pipe. I don't think I am. Definitely not. Construction train. Yorosh. Okay, that should do it. And make sure we get rid of this train limit. Cool, cool, cool. So now the sulfuric acid can get loaded super, super fast into the train. Oh, and we definitely want some nice, juicy tier 6 modules. Maybe we don't really need a... Uh, Wide area beacon 2 here, though. Uh, minus 40%? That's fine. What, how fast is this? 2.9k per minute. And it used to be 1.26. Yeah, th that's probably enough, at least until we redo the entire thing. I'm considering... Or at least I was considering trying to squeeze it into where we've already got the oil builds, but there isn't room. Uh, maybe we could do sulfur builds right next door to the uh, crude oil so that we could pump the petroleum directly. And it needs tons of water, so we definitely want to build it next to next to the shore. Probably want its own dedicated line, like maybe, maybe build it like here and here. Oh, and here as well, because we're going to defunct this one at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we can accomplish in a very small build what this entire block is doing. Okay. Back to the spoot up. The contrast between running speed with the exoskeleton legs and switching them off is pretty extreme. Down we go. Wait a sec. I forgot to prod module that. There we go. Squirrel complete. And now... Wait, how much sulfur does this use? More than a belt. It weirdly seems to be keeping up, though. No, no, the amount in the input is slowly going down. So that we're going to be belt bottlenecked. And there it is. Maybe that's fine. I, I don't... Yeah, actually... This would only... Oh, wow. Wait, how fast is this already? 51 per second. We are significantly belt bottlenecked with these red belts. Do they have to be red because of some underground shenanigans? It doesn't look like it. Do we have upgrade planner for red to purple? We do. Alright. Bottlenecks be somewhere else. So there is no such thing as bottlenecks be gone. We can but choose where to place our bottlenecks. And what I'd 
like to do here is just squeeze in a little bit more. Oops. Uh, I guess this would go here. Nope. I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there, fast loader. If both sides of these belts are... no. Hmm. How many fast loaders did we upgrade just now? Like six? Oh, there's one. Where could they be? Probably ending up in the train. We've had trains stuck here for a very long time because of that before. Gonna have to be a little bit more careful next time. Uh, so it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I pick them all up? We've got seven. Did any go back into the train? I think we've got one unaccounted for still. It would have gone into the container. Uh, are any of these... Do any of these only have half a belt moving? Oh. No, that's not it. Where could it be? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there's a fast loader hidden in here somewhere. The train wouldn't have taken it because the train will wait until it's full. Because we don't allow trains to come for less than a full train load. And the default condition on the LTN schedule says wait for 5,000 sulfur. I wonder where it could have gone. Wait, I found it. Fast loader. There it is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good, 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 good. Uh, and we don't need this train limit nonsense anymore. Alright, let's go fix uh, this one. But we'll do the loaders manually. So that they don't get spirited away. And then... Uh, from there, I think we can just copy... Well, no, we want to do an upgrade planner. And for everything else, we should be able to just copy-paste this. Mostly. No train limit. Fantastic. Don't tell me we're out of purple belt. That doesn't sound right. Bots got stuck. Bots got stuck. Okay. Oh yeah, we should probably put some nice floor over here as well. Floor train, if you please. Uh, wait for inactivity, and wait for... Wait till we're low on black reinforced plate. No need for an arbitrary timer. That already saturated the uh, sulfuric acid. Nice. We could definitely do better with this unloading station as well. Let's 
since we're needing like 1.3k petroleum per second, but well, wasn't that per machine, if we fully upgrade it. Yeah, theoretically this could eat 4,000 per second, so I do want the trains to be able to get out of here nice and quick. Just like that. And... Same thing up here. With our lovely dark floor. Wait, what? Oh, we already did it on this end. When did this happen? No wonder that... Moving the... Combinator around had a certain sense of deja vu to it. I'm still missing a little bit of purple belt down there. Alright, let's double check. Ghosts. Dunsky. And Dunsky. Fantastic. All right, we will upgrade that at some point, so it has far fewer machines required. Probably literally just one or two or three or four. But it's really not that necessary for now, or possibly ever. Spider come home. But every little place where we can reduce machine count, give us back a little bit of UPS. Who dis Sunday today? Indeed. Welcome in Lord Seri. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I kind of forgot that uh, my Monday is most people's Sunday. Or a lot of people's Sunday. Okay. The erudite doth floweth. How many inputs and outputs are there for erudite? We need enriched vulcanite. Hold on. First of all, it's just erudite. It's basically just iridite becomes just crushed iridite, and we get a little bit of sand out of it as well. Um, do any of these other blocks also spit out sand? This one spits out stone. I guess we could turn the stone into sand, just so that there's one less export. We we because we do. We do turn ludicrous amounts of stone into sand, as it is. In fact, um, this wonky looking block here is what a copy of this turned into, because there was so much train traffic to pick up the sand output that I ended up just making four output stations for it. Also made it a lot easier to merge and split all of the outputs. Uh, but yeah, this is actually fully upgraded. 264 stone per second becomes 1,188 sand per second. With just 8 machines. 148 sand per second per machine. It's a little bit fast. Just a little. We do have a uh, priority for the trains to pick up from there, since they're benefiting from Prod 9s. Oh, we're almost done with mining Prod 17. How much longer? Are we going to finish? I think we are probably going to finish. Fantastic. 59,000, we need like 
maybe a thousand or two. We've got 2.85 times from productivity modules. And we've, I think we've got every type of science pack and the lowest ones are down to 1k. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we're about to get mining prod 17. Another 10% base on top of all of the other mining productivity bonuses we already have. Bonuses, mining productivity. Where are we up to? There it is. 160... Plus 160% is going to become plus 170%. So... Not really enough to feel it all at once, but it is going to make a pretty significant difference. Um, that's more core frags from all of our drills. Not to mention more nacrotite when we mine that. But especially as we start sending all of our core frags through Arcolink storages, and there's no spaceships to bottleneck them, uh, it's going to be a much more dramatic shift. Just normally you don't stream Factorio today? Yeah, I wanted to make up for uh, not being able to for a couple of days because we got a power outage. Welcome in Lord Cero, if I didn't say so, by the way. All right, um, where's our Arco Strosty? Here we go. Anchor to dead space. That sounds safe. Right about here. And build out our infrastructure. So no doubt no doubt there's a bit of randomness, a bit of variance. Um I imagine we'll still get 40 to 44 uh, Arcospheres from this outing. Why is one Holmanite outpost backing up and two are completely empty? Uh, they're not so much backing up. Um, like, I've overbuilt these things with the Prod 6 modules. Uh, if, it's, if it were Prod 9 that I were putting in here, I might count the number of machines that it takes with our current mining productivity to keep up with the entire planet because um, it's not this many uh, Orpheus for example does not give us 165 core frags per second uh, at best entity at best we're looking at 82.2 per second. Uh, however, it does arrive in train loads. So there's a bit of a bit of burstiness to it. Even though we don't see the train on this end. Um, most of it gets direct belted to the north and south, so that we don't need to involve a train to get the Holmanite here. Uh, and any overflow goes to the train system um, in case we're backing up on it and maybe we could send it to an adjacent block that's not getting fully utilized, for example. Hello, hello, Dilka, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome in, D-Hose. Willkommen, willkommen. Good morning to you too. Why is this so imba... That is very imbalanced. Why? We only allow long trains to drop off here. The direct belts... ...come directly from this container. Even without a splitter here, it should be even. Apart from the length of the belts being slightly different, which definitely shouldn't account for this. Not sure what's going on with this one. Oh, 
Also, you're full on crushed fulminite. Oh. Wait. No? I thought maybe the outputs of these were actually full, but that's not it either. That's weird. Oh, is it because of the way these consume? No, I don't think that's it. That is really strange. Trains coming full? Yeah, they have to. I don't get it. Box 3 was full. It is. We limit... Um ion beads in here, but the product we actually want in here is holmium chloride. So the fact that that's full is not actually a problem. The beads are just to... Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're getting some more from... from Plato. Uh, the beads are just to feed these two machines. And because they come out as a byproduct, they go back into these containers. As long as there's like... Hmm. I was going to say as long as there's like one stack for the beads to be in, it should be fine. But that would mean... That these beads can't come out because... But that's only happening if it's full of holmium chloride. I don't know, it seems to be okay. If the chest is full, it'd back up. Yeah. But why? Oh. Because this is backing up. That's... That's a good problem to have. But I... Does it follow that if this is backed up... Well, the actual Molten Holmium isn't backed up yet because we don't have tier 9 modules here. Mining Prod 17. Very nice. Let's do another one. And let's see the increase in production of Holmanite Core Franks. 22k per minute, 23k per minute. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit more subtle than I even thought it would be. It's not a totally flat line to begin with. But uh, yeah, this is a kind of a good problem to have. Maybe I should go and put tier 9 speed and efficiencies in these white beacon 2s. Should be a 4% increase. Fair enough. Do you have a core mining setup? Could you show it? Uh, absolutely. Crosstown Donkey, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Also, does core mining output K2 stuff? Uh, yes. Okay, so let's take uh, Amadeo as an example. This is our most recent outpost. Um, here we've got a block processing core frags. On the other side of this Arco Link storage, we have Armadeus Orbit. This is where we used to do a uh, spaceship pickup, but since we got Arcolink chests, we've done away with that. Um, trains drop off the core frags, they go straight into the Arcolink storage chest. Only if we've got less than a stack of uh, Holmium core frags, though, to make sure we leave room for some other things. And then we've got some shenanigans over here to control input-output of the cables, repair packs, etc. So that we can keep the outpost running. But on the planet of the outpost itself, it's very much just like this. Um, all of the trains come down the elevator, they stack up here if they're all just waiting. Uh, and then they wait until one of these train stops has... I think it's like... A full train load and and then another 500 core frags. Because the different lengths of the belts from these balances actually will result in this being imbalanced. If we ever completely fill it. Um, 
So we wait till it's a little bit more than a train load. Train will come, pick it up, take it up the elevator. Uh, and that's basically it. All of this is just one-way rail, except where it's two-way rail. Uh, all of it's chain signals, so the trains are only allowed to stop if they're stopping at a train stop. And that way they won't get in each other's way. And normally that would be pretty bad for train traffic, but with core drills, the more drills you add, the less you get from each individual drill. So we're only getting 6.8 or frags per second um, at each drill here. So it should never be a problem for the trains traffic wise. Very cool, thank you. How many ships did those chests replace? Uh, quite a few. Especially con considering that Armadeo is an outpost that we wouldn't have taken with spaceships. Because the solar system is far enough away that it's not faster to go via Foenestra. And the planet itself is so deep into the solar system that this is actually a very very significant chunk of the distance that the spaceships have to cover. Um, when we go places via Foenestra, we're always looking for a planet that's close to the interstellar map, so the spaceships don't have to travel as far. But yeah, uh, this is the biggest Holmanite uh, planet in this, this seed, uh, and we're now able to make full use of it with the Arco chests. So yeah, we'll be doing more and more of that. And just keep pushing those bottlenecks until we can keep up. With our demand for exotic materials. Might do the same for... Should we do the same for... For Naquium? The thing about Naquium is we don't actually have that many ships moving Naquium. It's not that hard to keep up. And why do you not have power? Because there hasn't been a ship here for a while. Bruh. That's actually a little concerning, but the, the defenses are global. So it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, the thing is we're getting Naquitite from many different sources on a surface, which would mean many Arco-Link storages. I don't want to do that. So I think spaceships still make a ton of sense to pick up Naquium. Did we start the Arcosphere launch? We did not. Uh, in fact, we didn't finish placing all the launches. I think my fan is dying. Takes a while for these to charge up. That's another reason we have the media point defenses. But yeah, about... Wait, what's going on here? How do you not have a... Space probe rocket? Wait, no. More importantly... Why do some of these have a space probe rocket, but not others? Bruh. We're gonna wait till they're all in sync before we, uh... Before we launch any. Why is being late? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. Just don't launch, okay? 
That's like fully half of them that got started before they were supposed to. So until I take Arcosphere Collectors off the blacklist, or rather massively negative on the whitelist, uh, none of these should launch. I think they would have launched already if they were going to. Beautiful. Okay, they should all have the exact same number of space probe rockets in the requester chests and stuff. Begin. Fantastic. How many archers do we get out of the first 50, I wonder? Seven? Might be more than seven because... Yeah, no, it's definitely more than seven. We got 18 archer spheres from that already. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because diminishing returns in each surface individually as well. So I don't like that we've got the Argos before the defenses have charged. That makes me a little nervous. Uh, but yeah. Me, I, I think we'll still only get like 44 tops from this entire surface. But good start. Nine more launches of 50 like that, and we'll come back and send it home. Okay. Uh, what's next? What is next? What were we working on? I didn't finish deconstructing this old stone core frag processing block. Let's get on to that. I did already decon the poor spaceship that landed here earlier. I believe it was core egg hauler number 53. It has already been retired. It's so weird that I remember that that easily, considering how much trouble I've had with my memory lately. Bellin, welcome in. How do you know if you have enough train for your base? Uh, well, if stuff's not getting delivered, even though we have it and LTN is complaining that there aren't enough trains, we know we need more trains. Or if we look at a depot and the trains are never parked here, just chilling. If, if they get given a new job, like a second after they park themselves uh, and they never get to the five seconds of inactivity, then we know we definitely need more trains. Noxiway Gaming, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How many launches... Uh, how many launch you did for every deep space for Arco Sphere? Uh, we've done 500 launches in each of these surfaces, except for Dead Space, which we've just gotten started on. Oh, and 650 in Stardust for some reason. 
So, 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1,000. Wow. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that's, that's everywhere. 6,750 launches so far. That's more than I would have realized. It's not like I've been counting. Oh. They're fleeing to other blocks. That's fine. Or is it? Probably. And it's gonna end up end up back in the mall. Hopefully we're not putting too much strain on the system here. It's very therapeutic deconstructing old blocks. Alright, let's get our floor train to tidy that up a little bit. You know, the bots are deconstructing the rail signals when we get little lurches like that. <laughs> Philip B, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Launch 64 per deep space. Collection is 22 to 24. As in, if you launch 64 at each surface, you'll get 22 to 24. This bot seems lost. Does it belong to the train? Yeah, it probably does. Why are we not placing the last little bit of plate... Oh no. Alright, one more lap. That should get things sorted out with no further attention from us. Now then. How long has Holmium Cable been like this? Ooh, almost a perfect hour of production. Very nice, very nice. 11k per minute for the last hour. It's actually starting to... Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. Wait, how many more trains are coming to pick this up? But I, I haven't seen Holmium Cable get this full in this train stop for a very long time. I think we might actually be approaching saturation with Holmium. What a glorious day. Because normally, uh, despite producing 180 per second, we only ever see it get to, like, down here. Because there's a train scheduled to pick it up the moment that there's 100 stacks every single time. And I don't... Uh-oh. Uh... Is this fluids? It might be fluids. No? Okay, are the regular trains getting to stop at all? Doesn't look like it. There's a lot of fluid wagons just chilling at this particular depot. Yeah, I, I don't think we're short on fluid wagons. I think we need some more... some more regular ones. And we probably need another depot on the west side of the base. 
probably next to these two core frag processing blocks, but right next to them might be bad for, um, for train traffic. But there's a, there's a lot of trains hanging around over here. So maybe like here would be good. In any case, we should definitely add at least a few more trains. And... I'm thinking here is good. And we'll grab our... block over here. Make sure it's an up-to-date version. Oh, did the floor train finish what it was doing? I think it did. Is it fully reloaded? Uh, yes. Good timing. Wait, no, it hasn't done this other lap yet. Has it? But I'm pretty sure it's finished over here. Okay. It's not going to be in range yet. So we need the construction train to do its thing. Yeah, it was starting to feel like supernaturally impossible to, uh, to ever saturate on Holmium again. It's good to see Holmium cables starting to back up. Assuming that we're actually taking the Holmium cable upstairs quickly enough. Um, because there's a lot of demand for it up here. And I don't know if we added two trains to move the Holmium cables. Uh, nope. We're definitely not... It, it, it seems like we're bottlenecking on actually taking the whole meme cable upstairs now. Alright, let's not get too distracted. One thing at a time. That is one more train. I want to add at least five. Seifercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, why don't we park our train over here for now? Sea blocking, beautiful. Solburn, welcome in. Veldak, good to see you again also. We've come to scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow, fantastic. We are adding another another train depot because look at this. Also, apparently we do need more trains. We 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 got a big, 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 big upgrade to our Holmium throughput. Uh, wow. Even better than I thought. Are we actually just saturated on Holmium now? Except for this one that's weirdly lopsided. That's very weird, because all the other blocks are perfectly balanced. Um, 6.4, 6.4. Okay, that one's also lopsided. So it's... The, the two in the middle... That's really strange. Really strange. I, I guess once it actually saturates, it'll it'll be no big deal though. Yeah, Eichler, welcome in. Hope uh, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. All right. Um. We've already picked up too much stone for the bots to behave properly, really. Uh, at least it's not the, the cargo wagon that has the rail in it. 
I guess it would be weird if it was, because we're immediately going to dump several stacks of rail. I guess just... Actually... Yeah, wait for an active, go back to depot, come back here, wait for an active. And it'll probably take yet one more trip to finish all this, I imagine. How are the bots grabbing from the trains? Which mod allows it? Or is it specifically a space trains thing? Nope, it's not specifically a space trains thing. In fact, for some strange reason, with this version at least, uh, I had to use regular cargo wagons, not the uh, space locomotives. Otherwise, we would have to put the train on manual for the bots to jump out which is weird. Um, but the mod that's letting us put equipment in the trains is actually K2. Although there is a different mod, uh, Vehicle Equipment Grid, if you don't want K2, but you do want to put um, power armor equipment in vehicles. Nice, indeed. It is very nice. Uh, in some ways, they are much better than Spidertrons for construction. Not always. Good old K2 bringing all the cool stuff, indeed, indeed. I thought that train was going to hit our construction train. Don't scare me like that. Speaking of... Vanilla core frag blocks. It looks like we've left our too much rare metal problem far behind. I think we duplicated. Did we duplicate? I can't remember if I made another block that lets us de delete rare metals. Or I probably just sped up this one with tier 6 modules. Yeah, because this can delete how much? Uh, 219 per second, that's a lot. 13,000 raw rare metals per second can get turned into matter, if we so desire. Raw rare metal production last hour is 11k, so that's more than we've produced. And we do have everything set with, like, low priorities and limiters, and this can be sent somewhere else first, and this has to be full before we delete any. Um, but yeah, all of our core frags were stopped because we had too much ram, raw rare metal for a while there. Construction train has finished doing its thing, and, and, and the LTN trains are already using this depot, even though there's no fuel here. Um, I should probably go steal a bunch of charged packs just to get it started nice and quickly. Would you rather eat a goat baby or a matter ba baby? I uh, aren't all babies matter babies? I mean... Don't, don't eat babies. The more you know. Oh, we're still stuck here. Wait. Oh. Oh, we're just gonna take forever for the bots to recharge over here. Also, we somehow ended up with 400 construction bots, or 200-ish, in one cargo wagon? That's really weird. Set up for a joke, what's a matter be? <laughs> oh no. Spectre Grim, welcome in. Waffles, welcome also. Okay, uh, construction train just got back. Good timing. I, I want it over here, actually. 
And hopefully we can finish the depot block. Big brain? Eat all of it? Oh no. That's not big brain so much as big belly. We need exactly 50 Logibots. I mean, we don't really need that many, but that's the limit for none of them to crash. Probably only need like five, if that, to, uh, to refuel the trains with these blocks. Used to do it with belt spaghetti. Sushi. This is a lot cleaner. Dev Bob, welcome in. I think because one RoboPort is working with this low power, all construction bots go to one cargo wagon. Uh, no, they pretty much belong to different cargo wagons in the same way that bots belong to this Spidertron or my personal backpack. Uh, each separate cargo wagon is like a separate vehicle. As far as the, uh, vehicle equipment grid stuff is concerned. Are we going to have enough rail? It's only like 200 left. And we're sending it up there as well. Yes, yes we are. Fantastic. Need another buffer storehouse though. Apparently we bring them one at a time. That's a lot of bot recharging, and they're not going to get in in time. They're not going to get in at all, because we only recharge when we go back to base. Oh, no. Uh, go back to base. Hey, they're stuck to it. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> Good luck, little bots. Try not to fly over a spaceship and get abducted. Oh, and there's already... There's already a swarm of bots chasing the construction train. <laughs> oh no. We do have a system in place so that when extra bots get into the construction train back here, we dump them all and then put them back in. Uh... We can only read from the train as a whole, not from individual cargo wagons, so that's the only way to rebalance them. Hashtag bot abuse? It's not intentional bot, bot abuse. Bot neglect? Oh no. Did we get our... Buffer storehouse. We're holding 30 of them. How did we only have one earlier? Whatever. It looks like we'll be refilled now. Fantastic. And then... Go back here and wait for inactivity. Actually, try not to block the trains that much. Go back here and wait for inactivity. Uh, and now we actually want our floor. With the very, very lopsided bot count in this thing somehow. Alright. Why are we bonking? The bots need their union commissioned coffee break? Abuse? Oh no. Hey, we're... Oh, I was going to say we're at 10% already on Mining Prod 18, which costs 64,000, but it, science has already stopped. This time, it's regular space science packs. I have to admit, I didn't see that coming. And it doesn't appear to be any kind of material bottleneck. Yeah, this only makes 2.5 per second. Um, Oops. Also, this is a very old design. We could probably do with a lot fewer space transport belt machines here. Probably a single space manufactory would be much better if we even need it. Something to consider, though, for the redesign. 
Um, but yeah, there's no beacon here. Do we have a beacon to... Uh, how about a compact? Compact beacon to... For some reason we don't have any of those, because there's no regular compact beacons. There are regular compact beacons. I bet I know what the problem is. We're requesting one in here. They're probably all in a different green chest. They are. We're not even using regular compact beacons anymore. So let's just not put them in the train, which I'm pretty sure we're already not doing. Compact beacon. There we go. I do wish we could tell bots to move things between green chests directly. Make it the exception as opposed to the rule. Like, make it so that you have to go out of your way to do it. But, still. There we go. Beacon 2... Once we get some more Tesseracts. Why are we getting so few Tesseracts? There we go. Alright, and what's going on with you? Why do you have a single delivery cannon chest in the middle cargo wagon? There we go. Move things the way you want it? Are you mad? Yes. I am very upset. They have a depot? They have a depot. Oh yeah, we were still building this, weren't we? Where's our construction train with the buffer storehouse? We, we definitely had buffer storehouses. When we sent the train back here. What? Why? Nanda. Also, we seem to have got incomplete uh, floor placement here. Even though we definitely had enough floor. Get back here. Wait for item count. Black floor is zero. Oh. Nope. Yeah, there's like a thousand here. Bruh. What's came back so it hadn't left yet? Oh, because they got back just in time for it to keep trickling the five seconds of inactivity? No, the temp stop isn't there. Yeah, it hasn't done the job. It must have come back and failed. Very weird. Okay. So now to wait a little while for those things to happen and try to work on something else that we were working on and forget everything. Uh, that's right. We wanted mini beacons. Oh, you mean up here. Uh, where, where's our mini beacons? I think we weren't requesting them at the moment, actually. Yeah. Here they come. You were to beacon the regular space science. Yes, that's what we're doing. I do want to redesign this at some point, but... Not right this second. And 
this can be all speed. And this one can be... Actually... No, that's a white beacon, isn't it? Uh... Beacon 2... All speed... How about four efficiency modules? Plus 800% power. Also, this should be way faster than we need. Yeah, it's more than double. Actually, let me just double check. Uh, space science pack goes into nothing. It's just for research. Good, good, good. So as, as long as we can get three per second of that, that will meet our goal. That should still be plus 200%. And minus 80. And still almost twice as fast as we need it to be. Cool, cool, cool. So that, if it's supplied with materials, can do the science indefinitely. Um, there's really no reason to limit our storage the space science packs. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be waiting. It's like 10,000 for a train load at five per second. Uh, like 31 minutes before science starts again, unless we force an early delivery. But this would only give us, like, what? Actually, that's about 30 minutes worth of science packs. Yeah. Uh, just trigger a delivery right now. And then. And then. And then. We already had them? Wait, when did this happen? I... Sneaky. What? So we just happened to have a train pick up 10k space science packs, like, right before I upgraded this. Alright, cool. Um, that's fine. Snuck in 3% of the research while I wasn't watching rude. Alright, back to the mall with you. Oh, and I presume we're still very positive on space transport belts here. It is designed to export excess for I think there's at least one other build that wants to eat them besides deep space Utility science packs also wants space transport belts. So yeah, we definitely want to overdo it a little bit here with the space transport belts. But I'd much rather overdo it with another space manufactory rather than these many machines. Hmm. Okay, I actually kind of do want to refactor it now. I just fixed that. But we know what modules we need to support this. That can probably stay the same. And we could have a compact beacon support the two space manufactories. That sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be building this. How's our construction train? Ready to go? And you definitely have buffer storehouses. Okay, how about this? Go here, wait for inactivity, and wait until item count buffer storehouse is less than, was it 40 or 30? 
is less than one stack. Why are we not... Why, why, why are we not placing the black reinforced plate? What is going on here? Oh, all the robo ports are practically dead. Well, there's your problem. Might have been the same with the construction train. I don't know. I guess I could put, like... I don't want to put singularity reactors or something in the trains, but maybe RTGs. Actually, they take up too much space. Yeah, but there's a reason that we chose this loadout. Alright, in any case, that'll do for now. Back you go. Oh hey, we got a buffer storehouse. Fantastic. Alright, so... New depot is Dunsky. I believe. Let's head back to the mall. And don't forget, while we're in the spider, if we switch over to the editor mode... We're going to fall out of our vehicle. So for now, we'll keep an eye on what's going on over here. It's weird that it's always just this block that's actually seems to be accumulating uh, holmium. I don't understand why. You built the station on a biter burial ground? It's cursed, indeed. Balance the bots when you're there. Uh, when the, uh, I think when the floor train gets back, it empties itself. Let's see. Train ID is T. If T greater than zero, output time. Uh, if T greater than zero, output time. So this is a timer that resets when the train is gone. Um, if time is greater than 30 seconds, I'll put everything from the constants. That's to set the filters to put stuff into the train. Each times negative one. That's the contents of the train. We're subtracting the contents from what we want to put in. Blacklist bots. Oh. Wait, what? No. Wait, wait, what? I'm confused. Did we just assume that there's already always the right number of bots in here? Maybe it was supposed to be a one-off thing to insert the bots. Yeah, I don't think I put a system in to actually load bots here. No, we did. Where's the part where we ask for the bots? One million. Okay, so that's to keep the bots on the blacklist for taking stuff out of the train. Uh, M confusion. Okay, how about this? Construction bots, 200. We didn't quite put them in evenly, but I guess that'll do. It's, it's enough that I won't come over there to fix it. Alright. Into the editor we go. And we want... to get rid of this clown show 
of a different idea for handling the archer spheres. We'll probably end up using cargo rocket silos. Just to have giant containers so that we can have instantaneous swapping of the arco spheres back and forth. Oops. 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 Um, and we were going to start with this. It's really just the train stops that I probably want to keep the same. Just so it's easy to patch it in. Um, but we want... What is this supposed to be? Nothing? Oh, the output goes on the other side. That's like the only place I've done that in this entire playthrough. Yeah. Okay. Um, in any case, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to do a nice, big, juicy uh, space manufacturing. We're going to get space transport belts this way. And with the same compact beacon, that would be 16 per second. Not as fast as I was expecting, but what's our current rate? It's less than 10 per second. And the science machine, this one directly, only needs two per second. Okay, cool. That should be fine. And then... Whoops. I guess we can... Direct belt in... Our inputs like this. Oh, I guess there's no re no need for that. Could just do it this way, but it looks really weird, this gap over here. What's the rate of consumption? It's only 16 per second and 8 per second for the solids. That's really not that much. What about the lubricant? Only 80 per second. Huh. We don't really need this huge storage tank on this side. I bet we could do the whole thing in a half block, almost. You know what? I, I was trying to minimize the... the task of upgrading this, but now I kind of want to make it more succinct. If, if we only actually need... Wait, how much? Sixteen, sixteen, and eight. Twenty-four and sixteen. Thirty, forty. Forty items per second in total. Um, two superior inserters should be far more than we need with direct input, uh, direct insertion. Also, they'll probably be in sync, picking up the same items. The use of stone is imbalanced. The use of stone. What it? What it? What are you? Oh, that's probably not a problem because we're not requesting much here because it gets consumed slowly. Yeah. So even if this empties out before this loses any stone, it's not going to accumulate an imbalance because we're only asking for exactly one train load. We're actually letting it run out before the next train is uh, summoned. But yes, you are correct there. Dylan, welcome in. Alright, so this is going to go here. I kind of want to do it something like this. How about... Uh... 
Do it like this so that the train can drop off the fluid a little bit faster. And you know what? I actually kind of want... Is this even possible? No. If we had a diagonal inserter, we could direct insert the belts to this, but we don't really need a diagonal inserter. We'll just do it like this. Belts on belts. We need two train stop outputs, though. So we're probably going to end up using the whole half block anyway. Still, I like me a good, neat little compact build. And there's a symmetry to it. Oops. Could maybe... Well, there's no way we're fitting it like that. Right? How big is corner? Just like this. I mean, maybe. It seems a bit wonky. We could do it like this, but we'd be wrong. I think we should just leave the stations where they are. Fine. Don't really care if we've got some extra space science packs on the belt. Uh, and we wanted regular belt down here, right? Could do a splitter, or I could... What's the rate from this again? 10. I kind of want to minimize the... Uh, whoops. The extra floor, though. Oh, this could cozily fit in here. I don't really like that, though. That's a bit better. Okay, fine. Let's just do a belt all the way across here. Or maybe some deep space belt. With undergrounds. Why not? Oh wow. That just happens to max distance at exactly the middle. I meant to do that. And this is going to be swapped around. Okay. 
I guess while we're at it, we could deep space this. One off, really? Okay, fine. That doesn't look too bad, actually. Does this go up here? Sort of. I think that might look a little bit better. The consistency. One off. Rude. You'd think deep space belts would reach further than the purple belts. You'd be wrong. Deep Space is also the last belt? Yes, it is. It's exactly the same speed as the uh, the purple belts. The Immersite, the superior um, transport belts. But, except you can use them in space. Alright, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Space. And... We don't need this. Uh, and now for the lovely task of actually updating it. I think our fluid inputs are cheap enough that I'm not going to lose sleep just deleting some of them. Okay, let's get to it. First of all, we go upstairs. Did we finish all of the builds that we were fixing up down here? We got the depot done. I'm really liking the fact that we're accumulating holmium ingots, even if very slowly. Holmium cable has saturated. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's right. We were going to add a train to take Holmium Cable upstairs. Because we're not seeing it saturate up here. And I'm pretty sure there's only one train moving Holmium Cable at the moment. Which sounds ridiculous, actually. Maybe it's two. Where the heck are we Holmium Cabling? Here it is. Is it really just one train? We can't see them both if they're on different surfaces. Okay, there is two. With that schedule, but I think we need one more at least. Maybe even two more. Also, did we even send this train on its merry way? We did not. That was it, right? Why did I include tiles? Whatever the case, it let me identify the train. Mexican wave insert. There we go. You belong to LTN. I think that was the second train that we added. Looks like LTN... Still hasn't caught up, actually, but there's only four requests. So we're probably getting close to having enough. This should be the train with that schedule. It is. And we'll make one more of these. Uh, go to depot. Or vanilla depot, I guess. You know what, actually... E... Yeah, no, go to Vanilla Depot, because train limit. Dumbhack, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. With second train, why not make a train stop to add two or three or four in one go? Uh, it's not that often that we need to spam trains like this. This is already fast enough, I think. All right. We 
We're also using the same schedule to move plastic upstairs. Okay. In any case, I certainly hope four trains dedicated to Holmium Cable, etc. Uh, is going to be enough to actually... Well, I don't want to say hopefully find out that we're actually not producing Holmium Cable fast enough or that we need more Holmium Plate. But having it all stuck down here and not going upstairs fast enough isn't great either. Let's just say enough to shift the bottleneck. Upstairs we go. And... Let's take the... Space platform plating train over here. We'll have the construction train follow us. But not before we're done making some adjustments. Back to Grim, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well today. Nine entities of missing repair packs at Calidus Orbit. Okay, that... That I was not expecting. What? Did they get through the media defenses? Do we have ammo for the media defenses? We do. Curious. I guess we can send, like, the mini construction ship over there. Okay. So first of all... Uh... Stop. I don't suppose we're going to run out of enough of this stuff. But we're going to have a lot less items, uh, much fewer items to pick up from the belt here. Very, very quickly. Well, we can make a start while we wait for that. Because we're going to want to move all that lubricant over here. Whoops. Except we can't actually fit a pump in here. Um, and I didn't bring space pipe. And that's one off. Oh, that's, o that's okay. That should do it. Actually, just steal one of these. It's actually taking a lot longer to run out than I would like. We we'll just have to pick up more stuff. Uh, we still need the construction train for the space undies. Let's just bring it over here. Which means we're going to get all kinds of crap in the space construction train if we use bots while it's in range. Let's get started. There's plenty of empty space in the floor train. Could have stolen underground from the blue goop? I suppose so. Uh, but yeah, I'll just use like right click to uh, pick up some of this stuff. I guess that's not going to work for the scaffolding. Uh, we're going to want LTN to know what we've got here. He's still going. Might want to rebalance these. Uh, 
Oh, so everything but the belt comes from here. Still 132 in the input, damn. Uh, these are already speed 9s? Wait, what? Okay, we didn't copy them over here, so... 5.3 per second. Yeah, that should be fine. I thought this was... Didn't we rate calc this at 5.3 earlier? How did it go back to... I, I'm so confused. In, in any case, uh, have some more speed nines until you run out of belt. And then we'll start tearing this up for the moment. Maybe I should send the construction train out of range for a minute. You, you don't want to see this. Just just go over there for now. Okay. Can we even... I don't know if we can even swap the floor underneath this properly. I'm pretty sure there's still a little bit of scaffolding hidden underneath. Oh, you can even see it. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. I have some spare containers here. It's fine. What should be in range anyway? <laughs> How much? How many stacks is this? 320 plus? This is like 512. Okay, cool. Uh, just forbid both of these and then use even distro. And then we can fix this up. Because it would bug me to no end to know that that's hidden there. All right, you're finally done. Have some more belt, I guess. Why am I doing it like this? There should be plenty of room over here. Although we don't recharge the bots while they're out. It's not going to take that much, though. Okay. Can we... kill this request? Make a little temp container. Shove all that in there. How much is in here? Not that much. No worries, we'd have reminded you constantly of it anyway. Oh no. Uh, and this one we could probably just pick up. Okay. And that goes for you as well. Don't have that much inventory space right now, actually. Okay. And stone. And SRF. And PU. There we go. Um, it's 
fluid's a little bit more of a problem. Not that much, actually. I imagine. No, that's actually super easy to sort out. Yeah, because we don't have that much stored here. Okay. Space platform plating. And right about the same time, the last of the lubricant is getting pumped as well. Perfect. Okay. Might want to move... Wait, no, I don't need to. Actually, well, this might be easier. Copy. Paste. There'll be stuff that's in the way because stuff was missing. Oh, I said that backwards. But then we can just do it like this. Why are there still inserters here? Oh, they're not still inserters here. They're part of the blueprint. But in fact, there didn't used to be inserters there. Hmm. If I just forbid this and then shift C... And then take this, and then shift C. Nope. Shift C. No, why did a new train come already? Oh, because the... Oh, no. Because the settings... Uh, is it's probably fine. It's pro probably fine. I mean, I think it actually is fine. Uh, the copy paste did not include the floor because I didn't do the shift thingy. Where am I keeping? Where am I keeping this? There we go. And once more with feeling, make sure we tell LTN what we've got here or we're going to have a bad time. And why do we not have another space manufactory? Because the construction train's out of range. Do we not have a decon planner for the scaffolding only? We do. Fantastic. Construction train is slightly in range, actually. For some of it, at least. Alright, hopefully we don't end up... This beacon though. Um, hopefully we don't end up overfilled with some of these fluids or whatnot. Oh, and we definitely want... Oh, don't get distracted. There we go. Uh, we definitely want our space transport belt space transported over here. What? What? Oh, I see what I did there. There we go. 
And then we just limit this. Cool, cool, cool. Build is basically finished. Why is construction train not holding space manufactories? Probably because we stopped asking it to because they take up a lot of space. And... Uh, stop carrying decon facilities for the moment. Beko, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Alright, so we're already spamming transport belt once more. Did that fix our bots? I believe it did. And I think all the floor looks the way it's supposed to. Why is it connected? Requesters are on. Looks good. Now there's only one spot here that doesn't have the correct type of floor. Is that going to at least look like... Nah, it's all kind of messed up. Ugh, I don't want to juggle all this stuff. Anyway, that looks to be our final build. For Space Science Packs, I don't see any reason we'll need to update that ever again. Just two machines for the entire build. Very straightforward, very neat. The floor is wrong now. Uh, okay, fine. Fine. Wait, don't make more, please. Alright. Forbid. Even distro. How much room do we have here? Not that much. Mm. Turn off the requester. Oops. That's not that fast. Oh, it's got tier 3 modules in it. What kind of rate is this? 14 steel plate per second. That's still going to take a while to empty this out. Do you need that many efficiency modules since you had tier 9 speeds when you put them in? Uh, I'm pretty sure we ratioed it for this earlier. Maybe? I don't know. In any case, it's already faster than it needs to be. Uh, let's see. One more... If, uh, one less efficiency gives us plus 200%. Yeah, no, that was correct. Because there's six speeds in here. But yeah, it still gives us like two and a half times... Oh, no... It's like almost double um, our goal for space science packs. That eats two space transport belts per second. This can do 16. And I think there's only one other build that eats the transport belts for science. Which is... Utility science pack. And weirdly enough, not the productivity science pack. 
One belt makes four science packs. So one extra per second would be more than enough. We're doubling our goal of space science? No. No. No, the goal is already apparently way ambitious enough. Um... I thought three per second was not that crazy, but apparently it is. Look at those cute little tier threes. Yeah, this is not going to drain out that... Okay, we do have room, though, to move things across. And then we'll get rid of one of these. Fix up the floor. Put it back. And then Uno Reverse. And then the same, same, but different. Okay. May as well... We don't actually have a small beacon here. What if we just go some speeds and efficiencies in this directly? It's only 2 megawatt. Minus 80, how fast is this? Three space train power packs per second. I imagine that's a lot faster than upstairs needs. Still. Also, the input rate is super slow. Actually, it's not super slow on batteries, damn. Alright. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. And I think... That is actually... It. Why don't, why don't I just put this here? Or maybe... Just for clarity. Put this like here. Cool. There was really no technical need to do that, but this looks much more satisfying. And it's also going to be a lot more UPS friendly. Every little bit helps. Did you enable the station again? I did not. Thank you. Alright, and yeah, I really don't mind spamming discharged space train power packs until we have a ludicrous amount to spare. That is going to mean that our battery builds are going to go into overdrive once more, but... Well, I think we'd better remember to check on these later to make sure that we're actually saturating batteries. I hope we can get away with just four machines, two for each of these, fit under one beacon. You put the icon on the belts? The icon on the belts? What do you mean? You mean this? Did you mean the tag or something else? Never mind. Uh, okay. Never minding. Is this reaching? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, because uh, uh, otherwise you wouldn't think this machine would be running. That's fine. Cool. 
Alright, back to the mall. And we did connect those wires. Cool, cool, cool. And we're at 33% for mining prod 18 already. Very cool. What's our current science shortage? Uh. Oh. Bio 4. Bio 4. Bio 3. Vitalic reagent. Okay, so it's just a Vitamelange throughput. Which is not shocking. Um, let's see. This is a good spot to get a feel for how much reagent we have. It's not a lot. I mean, our throughput for reagent should be pretty obscene. But it's still not enough. Bear in mind that we are also spamming modules at the moment. Last 10 minutes, 2.7k per minute. That's pretty... It's almost the same as the last 10 hours. 5.6k per minute for the last minute. Damn. I wonder if we'll need another... We've already got two huge Vitamelange planets, but I wonder if we'll need one more. Or if when we put Prod 9s in everything and when we put, um, when we put module production on hold, maybe it's actually enough to keep up. In any case, I think I'm a bit overdue for a break. Uh, let's save. Why do I have no jetpack? Because I put all the solid fuel in that build. There we go. Okay. Save. And I guess we'll do some words on stream. The science tag is on the belt station. Guess that is what was meant. Science tag is on the belt. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a unusual layout with the train stops there. Veldak says yay. Uh, what was it? W-O-S. Veldak just woke up? Yeah. There's a surefire method. Summoned by words on stream. Alright, we'll start words in about 30... I'm playing PoE, just had to find a safe spot first. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes or so. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Aziz, light! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, how are we doing? Words on the stream is... Pause. Fantastic. Is that sound coming through? Is that sound coming through? Is that sound... Apparently not. Cool. Alright, what's next then? It is? Wait, the voice or the grindy fan sound? I mean voice. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit hot here. I don't really want to be risking not having this fan blowing. Alright, uh, so what's our next goal? We just tidied this up. Why are we bonking? Because there's words on stream when there's not supposed to be. There we go. Thank you, Dylan. Um, Where's our bottleneck? That's what I want to know. It's Vitamelange, but we don't know if, we don't know if we turn off module production that Vitamelange would be okay or not. I imagine not, but I could be wrong. Module production is very, very expensive. Holmium cable's looking pretty good. How's it looking upstairs? Uh, hard to tell, honestly. I think it's still playing catch-up. Even if there's enough throughput to take all the Holmium cable upstairs. Uh, it looks like the moment that there's enough available over here, a train is summoned. It was on stream. There just weren't many words, indeed. Okay. Um, should we go and expand Vitamelange throughput? 
we've only got Picard, Bombato, Moss Garden, right? Kind of like we had with, uh... Yeah, we've got the one in system that's very small. And we've got the two that are linked by Arco Chest. Already. Um, we could always add a few more drills. Actually, I'm pretty sure at least... Oh, wow. Yeah. Picard only has how many drills? Uh, entity... Drill... Only 11. And it's covering a pretty small area. So, yes, we should probably go to Picard. Let's start sp uh, scanning Picard. Spamming Pica Picard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me some... Give me those sweet, sweet tier 9 modules so I can see how many we've got. Where are the rest of them? I know there's like four prod 9s downstairs. Yeah, four productivity nines, and this is everything. So we've got 84 speed modules, 120, 128 prod modules, that's fantastic. Uh, and we've actually got over 200, 219 efficiency modules, which is pretty decent. There's also another half a stack of these in here. I think before we go and expand an outpost, we should pick something for priority productivity bonuses. Let's go grab them. And it's probably going to be Vidomelange, because more Vidomelange begets more prod modules. Also, we're bottlenecked on Vitalik Reagent right now. Actually... What I didn't double check, but I'm sure I know the answer, is, yeah, it, it's not as if Vita Extract is saturated and we're actually, we're actually bottlenecked by the machines. That's not happening. Which means we need more Vita Core Frags. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's go do that. Right after we choose where to place these. And it's probably going to be... I don't see why not. It's probably going to be where we direct belt the core frags that come from our two big planets. Which one's bigger? Um, Picard is 7.7k. Bombato is probably bigger. 8.8k. They're not that big. Um, so we should probably maybe consider finding the biggest Avita core frag planet in in the seed. It's actually only 8.9k Bellerophon. So we've already got the second biggest one and it's almost the exact same size. Okay then. I forgot about our Arcosphere ship. Poor thing's been sitting here for how long? How many Arcos did we get? 42. As expected. We need a storage chest. Oh, the number of storage chests here actually matters. I guess we can get rid of most of the cannons. 
before the final little push. We'll check back on that in a minute. Um, so Bombato is the bigger one. Yeah, let's, even if we don't actually have the, the number of drills there right now, let's crank up our productivity bonuses. The core frags from Bombato, mostly. Should be seven efficiencies. Uh, all of these are just four prod modules. Yep. And how many do we have left? Still over a hundred. That's so nice to see an entire block processing Vidim Lange full prodded. Uh, do we use the same number on this side, though? Plus 100%? 4 megawatt each on the advanced furnaces? Um, what's the ratio like? This eats Vita Melange Bloom, and these are 1 to 1, and that is slightly negative on the Bloom. So we're paying like almost 16 megawatt each extra for a block if I don't put another efficiency over here. We're net positive on spice. If I do put another efficiency, I think it's like not great actually. That is just a little bit positive on bloom. Not that positive on bloom. But then we're going to be slower on the spice and extract. 96, 8.5. I think, I think I'd rather just pay a little bit of extra power. 105, 10. I mean, we're probably going to eat all the core frags coming in anyway. How fast is this? 11 Vita per second each. That is not as fast as I thought to eat the actual Vita Melange. Uh, but yeah, all of our ratios should be... Oh. Wait, what? Vita Melange Nugget is negative. Huh. No, it's not. There's Vita Melange Nuggets on the other side. Yeah, Vita Melange Nugget is just barely positive. Which is what we want to see. I'd also accept just barely negative for Vita Bloom. So we're going to be producing almost 128 spice per second, more like 120. Yeah, that, that seems fine. How many prods do we have left? 65. How many does it take for this block? Uh, lots? That's 32. Uh, 48, no, 64, 68, 78, 88. I think it's 88 prods. Wait, how many do we have? 65? That's such a tease. Well, I think we should still prod down here as much as we can. Uh, and the earlier steps are more important. Oh wait, you know what I didn't prod 9? The actual pulverizers. Maybe that's a better idea? How many would... Well, I'm not going to prod all of these, but how many would it take to actually support exactly what Bombato is offering? Uh, it's harder to take the higher tier modules out because it doesn't let you just control click these in. Mm. Maybe we'll just leave this as it is. Well, 
we'll hold on to like a handful of these because I'm sure we're going to see something that we want to improve. Alright, back to the mall for the moment. Go to Picard, make it so. We will, we will. Is that on stream? They just went... Oh, yes, yes. Where the heck is our teleporter? Up we go. And I don't know what I'm doing back... Oh, yes, I do. I wanted the last few prod nines that just happen to be lying around here. There we go. So we got 17, 60, uh, and 223 efficiencies. I might put efficiencies on hold for the moment. We can just turn this inserter the wrong way. Okay. Let me, let me put a little tag here, though. In case we forget. And I don't need to be carrying this many modules. I think. That's a lot of efficiencies. Oh, we're down to basically no life support. Good to notice. Alright, that'll probably do for now. Back upstairs we go. This is slightly slower, but it only takes one click. Or well, not even. Just press enter, get in the vehicle, and it'll leave. Not worth tier 9 speed them without the tier 9 prod? Um, it depends. I'm pretty sure on Picard and Bombato, I'm pretty sure we're bottlenecked on actually producing the core frags. Yeah, there's only 31k at Picard. And Bombato has 19k. Which means that most of the train stops don't have uh, a whole train of core frags to take upstairs right now. Bombato also, wow, even more than Picard, I think. Yeah, Bombato really needs more drills. Okay, we'll go to Bombato first, I think. It's got the bigger radius as well. Alright, we have arrived. Check on Arco ship, thank you. Clear out... What the... Clear out the floor. Now I want more robot speed research. Are you constantly at 30 FPS, or is it because of scanning? Uh, no, we're more or less constantly going from like 28 to 37 or 40 UPS. There's just that much stuff going on. Welcome in, Beck. Once we phase out most of the spaceships, uh, UPS should creep back up a little bit, but the increased throughput of resources from simplifying that to Arco link storages leads to a lot more machine activity and train traffic 
Uh, so it's kind of... It's kind of offset by that. Hard to know how much, uh, how much UPS will be getting back. Especially since our goal demands so much throughput of various resources. Ooh, let's see the stats on the tier 9 modules lately. So last hour, we've done 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 0 0.3 per minute for all of them. That's way up from what we used to do. Last 10 hours is 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay. Uh, 0 0.4 per minute is 24. Half a stack of prod 9s per hour. That's actually pretty good. Especially because uh, the more we prod 9 everything, the fewer machines we actually need. And the less input of resources we need to get a larger output. All right, there we go. Back to Hagen orbit, please. That is moon orbit, double one eight zero via Foenestra. And go. Bring back our 42 arcospheres. Now that that's in motion, let's go to Bombato which is Planet Orbit 840. And again, we're going to go via Foenestra. I did notice we're not carrying as many core drills as I thought. Yeah, we're requesting 20, but there isn't room. Uh, why don't we just bump down... The drills to like 300 each. I'm sure that's enough. Oops. And now we actually do have 20 drills. Seems like there's still not enough room. 300, 300. Wait, why is there 309? Whatever. Let's -a go. Onward to Bombato. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, screw it. I left these storage chests here, but I guess we'll just live with it. Okay. I'm actually a little bit shocked at how few drills we've got on Picard and Bombato at this point. I know I've been procrastinating for ages to expand them, but I didn't realize they'd be this small. Then again, while we had spaceships, we were nowhere near keeping up with how much they were producing. Now the bottleneck is well and truly shifted to the amount of core frags we actually bring in. Technically, uh, like what I said before is this was... This layout was overkill, and the idea is we trim down how many pulverizers we actually need for each outpost. But the thing is, until we finish... Well, I guess there is no finish with infinite mining prod research. Um, whenever we uh, increase mining productivity, the amount of core frags coming out of here is going to increase just a little bit. Although I guess 
percentage-wise, that increase is going to get smaller and smaller. Are you able to keep up with three signs per second without spamming modules? No. No, of course not. We have to spam modules. What do you mean? Oh, you mean making more modules. Uh, I have my doubts. I think we would probably still bottleneck on Vitamelange at the very least. Um, and I suspect we need to rework uh, Iridium as well. I forget where it is, but I'm sure there's a... I mean, we're... we're... We're not saturating iridium ingots anymore, because I keep spamming heavy composites so much, which never catches up. Um, but all of our all of our iridite, or at least from Renato, from Renato and from here, at least for the moment, iridite is actually saturated, or pretty much saturated. So I'm pretty sure all of this needs a rethink. Even though we did that in the past already. I think we ratioed it all to fit perfectly if we had like 12 prod nine, uh, 12 pulverizers with prod nines for each spaceship drop off running continuously. But now it's going to be any number of of rises from each block. Welcome in Dexoxo, by the way. So Welshy, welcome in. Good morning. The voice is getting a little bit messed up. How close are we to Phonestra? Almost halfway there. So about a quarter of the journey. We are... I'm not surprised, but we're not actually accumulating Holmium ingots. I don't know how this block was, at least for a time, accumulating Holmium ingots. Possibly because we weren't taking the cable upstairs fast enough. That might have been it. Uh, that makes me a little sad. <laughs> Still, we do still need a million prod modules to upgrade Holmium. I don't necessarily want to go adding more blocks uh, and more outposts just yet. I mean, actually, we're saturated on Holmium Knight itself. So, yeah, we definitely need to speed this stuff up. Uh, some of these I haven't even put the speed nines in. So that would probably help. Are there any of these... Okay, it looks like we are totally saturated on Holmanita itself. That's good. I don't really want to add more blocks. What I really want to do is tier 9 module all of this. Uh, but even if we don't prod nine all of it, if we go and put in a bunch of speed nines and prod nine these little things, that should make a pretty big difference. I should have done that before I left. Has the ship with repair packs made it to the sun? Oh yes, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Anchor to Calidus Orbit. I don't suppose we brought plating. We did. Nice. No, don't store it over there. Also, we have a bot network here. Um, why don't we just put in a bunch of repair packs? Wait. Did we use them all? No? What? What? Repair 
care pack, request from buffer chests. Buffer chest has repair packs. I don't understand. Oh, there's no logistic bots here. Hmm. Okay, I think... I might have a solution. Uh... Let's put down a storage chest here first. Decon this. Instruction bots will deliver repair packs. And then cancel. And then all the bots end up over he here. And all of this... oh no. Could we maybe... steal this back? Is there even going to be room? Like, literally, physically room? No, oh, we can squeeze a couple more storage chests in. What a mess. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. No, no whatever. They're all waiting to recharge before they bring the stuff back over here. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that for now. Two minutes till Bombato orbit. Arcostrosity? is going to be back in... oh, 33 seconds, actually. No? Wait, what? Yeah, 30 seconds. Spatial distortion just ran out, which means we just got into the uh, solar system. Cool, cool, cool. What should we do until we get to Bombato? What indeed? What is going on with Naquium? There's no beryllium hydroxide? Uh, I have a feeling this was because of a mistake, not because of a shortage. Beryllium hydroxide. Quite a lot of it here. Provide threshold 200k. Are we short on barrel now? I haven't had to think about barrel for a long time. There's not that many machines here. Maybe we should prod it up. The core frags give us barrel. The barrel goes straight into here. Hmm. Uh, it seems like we're saturated with the core frags. Let's see. D do we actually just need more pulverizers for barrel? I think that might be it. I think the bottleneck is all the way back here. And uh, we've got a giant planet literally right next door for barrel, so... Actually getting it is not that big of an issue. The spaceship system has... Four ships with barrel on the way back home or just waiting to land. So these belts really should be saturated. Uh, how much barrel does it want? 
441 per second, okay. And this can do only 206. Well, there's your problem. Uh, I might do a quick and dirty speed 9 in these. When we get back. But I thought we had plenty of actual... There's tons of brilliant plate downstairs. I didn't allow for a very big storage of beryllium ingots down here. I wonder if... Are we, like, priority consuming the beryllium hydroxide? Yeah. Okay. It's all going straight into beryl itself. So it's very difficult for it to get to Naquium. Why not decon all the roboports so they end up in ship? At the sun? Hmm. If we have enough storage, yeah, maybe. Except I did want to leave a few behind to do the repair pack things. Oh, we're here. Welcome back to the stage of Bombato Orbit. Time to expand our drills. We're going to need some rail. We're going to need some drills. Maybe not that many drills all in one go. Uh, right click splits the stacks, but the stacks stack to one, so that doesn't give us half of the drills. Uh, give us some power poles. Where's the substations? There we go. Give us some blue belt. Uh, maybe not that much. Uh, have we been scanning Bombato? I think we did make a start. We're not going to need a whole lot of landfill here. Fantastic. Let's start with this drill. Okay, we are going to need some landfill. Yeah. How much? Hopefully we've brought enough that we, do, we won't need to make more on the spot. Dr. Mega Man PhD. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How is your stream? Factorio, fantastic. I forgot to get more life support. I think one of these containers has some, though. Yeah, we're good. Why am I carrying antimatter canisters? It's a mystery for the ages. Luckily, you have those extra chests with some in, so I guess it's a good thing. That's cliff explosives, not landfill. Uh, I mean, we might need more cliff explosives, but I didn't see that many cliffs. Anyway, uh, it's a short trip to come back to the spaceship, so let's get started. We'll soon see what we missed. Had a serious iron shortage that turned into an everything shortage because I wasn't making cargo rocket sections. Oof. When the whole thing collapses. Got moved there where... Where landfill was. Wait, where is our... Fast is. Where landfill was. I'm confused. Whatever the case, we should probably have enough landfill. Or while we're here. Where are we going? So we're going to do front right, I guess. Not going to be a cozy fit this time. Maybe here. That's not too bad. Uh, 
That should be it. Don't forget power. Very important. Uh, I guess we'll do a diagonal. Something like this. That looks decent. We don't technically need to connect this stuff up anymore. But I like to know how many core frags we've got on each of our planets. Welcome in Philip B, by the way. Inspector Grimm. Did that connect? Nope. That should be it. Fantastic. One, two, three, and four. Connected to central. Looks good. How many drills do we have now? This is like ten, right? Nope, this is nine. So we're now up to 157 per second on only nine drills. Wow. Vidim lunge is not that slow. Um, let's go here next. Let's just double check that we can see all the tags that we've found so far. There's 15. There's one. Straight up here. Probably extend this one actually. No, never mind. This one is way over to the left. This one is that one we already spotted. We could probably do a straight shot from that piece of rail right there. This one's straight down south. We'll just keep that rail going. And that one is neat and tidy straight up from there as well. Okay. Uh, what's the lowest hanging fruit right now? I don't know, but because we're already standing over here, I kind of want to go for these two on the left. Maybe we'll work around this water just a little bit. Or I could do back right. Might be a little bit easier. And branch off to get this one. Not a cozy fit, but that's okay. The ones in the top left together. Yes, indeed. Alright, uh, so right turn. Gonna need some landfill. Gonna need some power poles. Didn't see where that other corner was going to be. Mm, we're going to need a bit of a diagonal anyway, so maybe I won't put landfill there. Across the street. Right about... Yeah, that works. We can we can make use. We can make do with that. That should cover everything, yes? Yes. Cool. Now where's the corner here? Right about there. Left turn. And nearest power pole 
in either direction is kind of awkward. So we'll probably branch off something like this. That's also still a little awkward. Oh my god. That's pretty much perfect. Okay. Let's get to actually building it. Gonna need a little landfill. Is that the only landfill we need? Very good. Signals are already built into the intersection. And... I can't wait to see how many core frags we're going to be... It just occurred to me, um... With tier 6 modules, 165 core frags per second uh, is what these 24 machines can manage. I think we're actually going to exceed that without any more mining productivity research even. So that layout that I built, which was supposed to be overkill, uh, might prove to be eventually uh, not even overkill although we do get diminishing returns but we're so not very deep into diminishing returns yet we've only got 10 drills uh correction nine drills for 157 percent yeah we're, we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna exceed 165 per second from bombato that's not even not even a question. So then the question becomes... I'm, I'm sure it's strictly possible to have more than four belts throughput from each Arco-Link storage. But, uh... 180, 360. That's pretty over the top already. More to the point, getting the Arco-Link chests... I feel like we should just make another pair of Arco Link chests if it's gonna be if it's gonna get that extreme from one planet. Although I guess if we really no yeah if we're gonna lo use loaders we're gonna need at least two faces that are not utilized so that we can do the inserter input output on each end. Although I guess technically we only need one of the Arco link chests to have this kind of uh, exchange. But yeah, no, four belts per Arco link and two Arco links if the outpost, if the one outpost gets particularly extreme. I don't remember just how fast this can go with full tier 9s, though. That's probably beyond insane as well. Uh, let's double check. So, prod 9s. Well, it's 24 machines, right? Two hundred and sixty-four per second. Even with diminishing returns, that might be pretty hard to get to. I almost kind of hope it is. Okay. 
connect that back to central, which is already done. We've got 18k core frags on the planet for the moment. Hold on, are we belt bottlenecked? No, I don't think so. 16 per second per drill, and it's only going to get slower. Good, good, good. Do the crushers have prod 9s in already? No, they don't. With tier 6 modules, they eat 165 per second for 24 machines. I'm going to need some help here. Clearing out the trees. Okay. I think we'd better double check that the train can actually path here. Which we should be doing regardless, actually. Seems good. I think we're missing a power pole here. And it's already connected. Okay, there's our drill, there's our connection, there's one, two, three, and four belts connected properly. Uh, so we now have 11 drills, and we're already up to 100, <laughs> we're already up to 173 core frags per second, wow, okay. What was the amount if we max out all of this? 264, okay. So we're going to aim for that, or just stop when the diminishing returns of getting more drills is less favorable. Turbo Hin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I think we'll just do a straight station right about here. Should have brought the spider. I could use a train to get around. But going backwards, with the way these uh, rail signals are set up, is a bit troublesome. I can't wait to see Vidim Lounge just saturated everywhere. That's going to be trippy, honestly. If we can do that while spamming modules. Where are we going? Just how much uh, Vidim Lounge itself does this spit out? 380 per second, which is... Uh, 4.2 belts. 4.2 purple belts. Wait, come to think of it. 
Oh yeah, that sh should be fine. Yeah, I think we already, like, ratioed that. Or maybe we tested... Maybe when we built that we used a different type of core frag. We'll see. Let's worry about the power after we get all this done. Because we're going to have to shoot some trees and stuff. Oh, I was wondering what kept slowing me down earlier. It's actually just kind of an arbitrary slowdown after shooting. Okay. Let's double check the train has path. It does. Did we double check up here? There's actually a gap. There's a freezer, freezer, freezer. Get out of here, you. Alright, so we need to go up there. Um, let's finish this one and then immediately fix that. I guess we'll put this around about here. Should be able to just hold the boot on and have the bots jump out for this. Actually, with only one power pole every little while, I'm pretty sure even at max jetpack speed, they should jump out and do their job. Cool, that is connected. And there we go. Let's double check all the belts are connected. So now we're at 12 drills for 181 per second. Fantastic. Alright, we're going to borrow the nearest train, drive up to that one piece of missing rail, or well, technically two pieces, I suppose. And halt. And look over here for a sec. Oh, that actually scared me. It shouldn't have, but it did. Meanwhile, at Hagen. I don't know if we're gonna... If we're already at the point where we're gonna be continuously saturated with Vit core frags. But we've already built enough drills for this to happen. Until we put bigger modules in. Um, it's just gonna be a little bit stop and start. With the train deliveries at first. Okay, you go over here, wait till full, and then go up the elevator. Our next target should probably be this one. Oops. 
should probably be this one. We'll do rail like so. And left turn. I mean, the other left. Cozy fit. Very good. And power pole. I guess we'll use this one. Actually, that might actually line up really well. That'll do. Or I could even put it here. Okay. Onward to the other side of the map. Mining prod 18 still sitting at one third. Not surprising. It's not going to move until we get a train delivery of bio 4. And then we're going to get like 26,000 worth of research done. I say the goal is continuous three signs per second, but that's three, three per second consumed. With the productivity bonus, it's actually almost three times that. Uh, let's see. Wait, one five times... I think it's like 2.8. We're actually going to be getting 8.82 science done per second. Signal at intersection. Uh, tree, tree. We're going to want one way, one way, two way. We're not out of rail. I really should have packed a spider. If I brought a construction spider with me, I could send it down here and then get it to come back to me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. Pew pew. Oh. That does surprisingly little damage to the rails. Okay. Connection's already... well, not already. It's not so much as been severed as it was never connected. That looks like it should be right, though. I'd like to get to, say, 16 drills before we leave, even if it's super overkill for the moment. We'd need another 11 to go from the equivalent of four times the first drill to five after that. That's the intersection. Okay. You have path all the way to the drill. Fantastic. I think we already checked these. We did. Great. And 
power is good, and wire connection is good. Fantastic. There's another drill over here. We could either extend the rail from here, which is probably a good idea because it goes straight from the beginning. Or we could expand from this one. I think, especially since we're already closer to this rail, we'll keep going this way. Take a moment to to suck in the scale of this place. It looks kind of small on the map, but it's really not that small. Okay, uh, plan the layout of this drill. Probably front left. Another cozy fit. Fantastic. And where does this go? Perfect. And power pole. Like so. Okay, maybe not quite like that. How about a diagonal? That should be pretty good. That might even reach, but then... Then the combinator's not going to be covered. We also need green wire connecting these two. So how many drills are we up to now? 13 already. 188 per second. I guess we are going to break 260. Which ne means we'd need a whole other block to process the core frags coming from this one outpost. Um, can we... It's like 260 per second. 264. Okay. Uh, 540. We can manage that with just one ArcuLink chest. If we make use of six loaders in, six loaders out. Yeah. So I guess we'd just... We could just have the one Arco chest and kind of... Kind of direct belt to a neighboring block. With the loaders coming out here. I'd probably have to move this up a tile... Or move the train stop or something. That's no big deal. How much does each column use? Six. Sixty-six per second. Less than one belt. But since we have six belts coming out to go to eight columns. We'd need to do some splitter shenanigans or something. But yeah, it is looking like just the two big uh, Vidimlunge outposts might be enough for the entire game. Wait. 
All right, all connected, all powered, all lined up. Fantastic. Does the train have a path here? It does. Cool. So that's 14 drills. 195 per second. Wunderbar. I kind of want to go to 260. Even though mining prod 18 is going to make it a bit higher. How many untapped tags do we have? We've got 14... I don't know if we want to scan anymore. Um, we've got 14 drills already. And we've got... 19... Or... Uh, core seam tags. So five to go if we don't want to scan any further. One, two... Three up here. Where are the other two? That that's actually a pretty good question. One, two, three in the bottom right. Four way down the bottom. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five way up here. Okay. Bottom right, indeed. In any case, we're definitely going to expand this way first. And front right. It's the most awkward one because that's where the train stop is. We could do it like this. We could do it like this. That's not too bad, actually. Okay. Power poles. Why don't we just do another diagonal here? Maybe not that far. Is that going to reach? I seriously doubt it. Oops. Neither is that, but that shouldn't be too bad. How many signals do we have? Zero. Uh oh. Did we fail to place some signals earlier? No, I think we... I think we ran out just right. Possibly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we had just the right number of signals to run out that way. Okay. Let's go back and get some more. Where the heck is the dr uh, space elevator? Oh, I forgot there was a pyramid here. We did already clear it out, right? Surely. 
Yeah, we did. Alright. Signals. And we could probably use some more rail. Uh, 104 signals remain. That'll probably do for now. Cliff explodes, we've got plenty. That should be fine for the moment. How many trains do we have? One coming up. And two downstairs. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, normally I would think that's enough, but... The cord drills are so much faster here than usual. 14 per second each. Well, I guess we'll see. We don't have any shortage of jetpacks in this uh, ruster suit. Still takes a little while to get where we're going. There we go. Why are the rocks not marked? Very odd. Almost there. How many prod ones do we have right now? 17. Um, plus 13. Okay. And we need, what, 24 times 4? 96. To fill that whole block. At 0.4 per minute. 66. Uh, about 165 minutes, about three hours game time. Before we can fully prod module the block that processes these core frags. But I could go ahead and like prod module the ones that receive core frags faster. They're probably just going to be running continuously anyway. Okay. Uh, so that's everything up north, and then we've got one, two, three, four down here. And that'll get us to 19 drills, and it looks like... It looks like that's going to be about the limit for a relatively small area covered to get somewhat deep into diminishing returns. I think we'll, hmm. well, we'll definitely branch down this way for this one, but I was thinking we branch off this way to get to these other three drills. A vertical line there would be good. All right, let's head back down. Did you add green signal cable to this one? Uh, no, good catch, thank you. Looks good. 36,000 core frags. Welcome in RV Park. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. No train to transport 
Heronite available, but there's only the one warning at the moment, which means we're probably right on the razor's edge of having just enough trains. Spicy rocks shooting us down again. Actually, let me get the southward one done first, since that's the smaller project. the line. So we're going to have rail, we're going to have, where the heck is it? Front left, could do it up here, it's probably fine. And freaking plastic trees are in the way. There we go. Just like that. It's balked? Wait, what's balked? What be balked? No, I see what you mean. I thought I did that, but then I thought, no, that that probably isn't what happened. All right, it's 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 fine. It's easy to fix. Easily remedied. Show. Fantastic. That be balked, indeed, indeed. Okay. Power, yeah, we'll get to it. But first, pew pew. Oh, right. You have to be in Navsat to move these things around. Get out of here. Okay, you're, you're trying my patience. Is that already connected? to get the power. Looks like we don't need to mess with any trees this time. That's a pretty decent fit. And the rest should sort itself out. Missing the belt from the core thingy to the balancer. All right, all right. And that should be it. It is powered and wire is connected. Down we go. So what drill number is this? Uh, 
verse 16. So this is the equivalent to our fourth drill if there were no diminishing returns. Giving us 209 core francs per second. I don't know if we are going to reach 265 per second without covering the entire planet, which would... I mean, it's already a bit big. Um, it doesn't really cost UPS, but the save file gets bigger. It takes a lot longer to save and load. Um, having to have this much area explored. But, so yeah, it's it's a little bit annoying that core frags are limited in such an arbitrary way. But... It's still a lot that we're going to be able to get from Bombato. Got to reduce ships, indeed. I mean, yeah, the more we do on our two big Vita core outposts, uh, the less we're the less we're going to need elsewhere. Assuming that we need any more outposts for Vidim Lunch. So yeah, I think this block right here was probably permanently saturated long ago at this point. We just need to make it all faster. Alright, speaking of faster... Don't get hit by a train. That would be embarrassing. Not to mention stressful. Okay. So we want our rail... to go all the way out here. And then take a right turn for these two core drills. Oh god, it's full of trees. Let me just measure here. Yeah, uh, we can probably do one rail between the two of them. Something like this. Ooh, cozy fit. Let's let's say we're gonna start with that. Rail goes up this way. I think that's a mosquito crawling on my skin when I'm not looking. Not a fan. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just do an inline station here instead of... Instead of anything else. Something like that. But we're obviously going to want to put in landfill and clear the trees first. Something like that. Alright, I won't worry about the power poles just yet. And let's do the pew pew first. I can get in the middle of the track. Rude. a cool weapon? It is. 
It's like the railgun, but smaller and much, much faster. Is that all the trees here? Mostly. Ah, screw it. Let's get these ones out of the way as well. Alright, I guess we will do the power poles on the way back here. Wait, what? Right up to the corner. Convenient. Okay. How much further is it? It's a little ways. We'll definitely stop at 19 drills. I do not feel like continuing this too, too far. Also, we should be uh, scanning Picard. Get ahead of that. This map is kind of big. Let's park it over here for now. Also a good way to make sure we've got path. Just barely keeping it going. That's a tree. Get out of here. Alright, this is where things start to get a little bit messier. And... I think we'll just start clearing these trees. first place. Am 
might actually not reach where I want it to. Round left. Eh, close enough. And... Get rid of the bulk rail loaders because they do weird things. With the wires not being connected, if you place on top of them. Alright, power... Uh, I think we'll just put one right about here. Don't tell me. It's two tiles off touching the touching the drill. If we just put a white power pole in line here, that's a little bit upsetting. Not gonna lie. Uh, that kind of sucks. Okay, fine. Put you right about here regardless. And we'll put you here. And that's all connected. Fantastic. Now we need more landfill. And more tree removal. Move the whole power grid two tiles to the right. Yeah, no problem. Uh, it's not strictly necessary, but we should probably put some signals here as well. And then onward to the last drill. Well, actually, there's a... Uh, one over here as well. Goldak, thank you very much for the uh, six month gifted sub. Wow. Thank you so much. And for the 130 on top of that, or total 130. Very much appreciated. Thank you. 12.69 per drill. Cool, cool, cool. And Lord Seri, thank you for the follow. Wait. How many times have I seen you here and you weren't following? Just forgot to push the boot on? Okay, uh, let's get rid of the trees first, I guess. I had the exact same question. <laughs> Just about five months. Oh my lord. And... Just remove that the old-fashioned way. Since there's not that many trees. Wait. Need some landfill here. Mm. I'm so hyper focused, those actually work for me. Don't follow people easily when I can just find their content through Twitch suggestions. <laughs> Fair enough. I generally throw away most websites, recommendation pages and stuff, if I can use an RSS instead. Especially for something like YouTube, where with good reason, you've got 
content creators telling you make sure you press the uh, make sure you ring the bell or whatever and people constantly saying yeah I had this channel on follow and notify but it seems like YouTube just turned it off for some reason not actually a problem with an RSS feed which miraculously they still do use not old enough for RSS. It's really simple, though. Although, I have to admit, finding a decent, lightweight client to use with it was way harder than it should be. Last I checked. Kevin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Do I not have... Okay, bots, you're confusing me. Good clients are hard to come by. Yeah, it had me thinking, like, maybe I should write my own. I literally just want the bare minimum and then a little bit more. Um, I, I did find one that was okay. All right, rail through here. Fantastic. Power all the way down. Drill is not working. Because we didn't put a wide beacon here. A wide pylon. The train should have path all the way down though. You're a very clever young man, but it's path all the way down. Actually, don't wait for full cargo. Wait till I'm ready. There we go. There's our drill. How many drills do we have now? 18? 222 core frags per second. Almost exactly. Uh, and for the last drill, we could be lazy and just... And just... That's got to be worse for the train traffic though, right? Maybe we should go this way. Mr. Nafka, thank you very much for the 17 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Use the path with fewer drills on the rail. Yeah, probably. Once the trains get up to speed, it's not that much further anyway. Alright. How about front left? I, I, uh, that is... I'm pretty sure that's the worst snap to to try and line this up. I guess we could put it here. Gonna need some landfill. Gonna need some to shoot some trees. Gonna borrow this train.
The only trouble with the signaling layout here is the trains will wait for some returning train to go all the way through um, before their turn to go through an intersection. Okay. Just like that. And just like that. Turn off the bots for a sec. I feel like I shouldn't leave pieces of stone on the ground. That's like several more items for the game to keep track of indefinitely. Uh, like this? No. Like... Like this? Are we out of drills? No, we brought 20. Uh, they're just... They're, they're in the spaceship upstairs. Yeah. Figures we'd need exactly one more, though. Uh, how about we try and design some power poles before we go back? Only one of them needs help here. That's pretty good. Just land the spaceship downstairs. It's not out of the question, but... Well... Considering how far I have to go... Nah, it's not that bad. We'll live. Don't forget to fill this. Alright, so you have path over here. How about you just stay there until full? And we'll double check we have power and signal. Fantastic. Just need a drill. And go up the elevator once you're ready. Alright, and we've still only found 19 tags, right? 21? Oh, God damn it. There's one over here that's actually pretty close. And one more somewhere. Where, oh where? Could our last tag be? Hello there, Pospec, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Middle left. Middle left. Oh, yep, there it is. That's not too bad either. Okay, fine, we'll get 21. That might even get us to almost 265 per second. Who knows, maybe by the time we put in 96 prod 9s, we'll have enough mining productivity research to bump it up. I doubt it, though. So, three more. Uh, 
One, two, three. Do we need anything else? Uh, I don't... Oh, yeah, we're going to run out of rail. There we go. Hopefully we don't still run out of rail. That would actually be kind of brutal. <laughs> if we run out of rail just a little bit short of placing these last couple of drills in one trip, I'm going to be sad. Need three more from the spaceship. Yes. Alright, so first one is already good to go. Yeah. Yeah, we were going to do 19. This is going to be 21, and we haven't placed the 19th one. How much further are we going? Straight diagonal. Cool. Uh, tricked me into thinking that there were already core frags in the bulk rail loaders. But yeah, the belt looks like it's all connected properly. Uh, should we go to the northern... Why don't we just go back? Wait here until passenger not present. And I'll fly north. 2% science got done. Fantastic. Should be another several... Percent. 64,000. Science comes in bursts of 10k minimum. Times 2.8. So like 28,000. Yeah, it should be like another third or more before it stops. Probably. I sense we're at the beginning of the end. Like, we we really are getting close now to our final goal. Things are accelerating. You're going up the elevator, yes, good. I wonder how Vita reagents are looking. I don't think it'll be enough yet. It's definitely not. To keep this flowing indefinitely, that would be an awful lot. Uh, five hundred and fifty-four extract per second. So with this fully upgraded block, it would require like five of these, if not more. Oh, hello, train. What's the final goal? Yeah, three signs per second consumed by the lab. Which actually comes to like 8.8 .8 signs per second. I can't get it... I, I can't... I don't think I can tune it with speed modules and such to be exactly three per second. But we've already got it on 3.15. Okay. Okay. Drill goes here. Uh, another awkward fit. I guess we'll just do it like this again. Uh, Kale, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oops. Where's our drill? No trees up here, that's nice. If 
you have enough spare rail after putting in the last two drills, might be a good idea to add a siding on the right hand lane because you have a drill station in line so it could cause traffic jams at some point uh not likely each individual drill is going to take longer and longer to reach one train load with the more drills that we add like at the moment we're looking at 12 per second for each drill it takes, uh, it, it's a stack of 20, uh, 50, 100, 200 stacks, 4,000, uh, it takes 333 seconds, or five and a half minutes, uh, for each drill to produce a train load. So any one particular part of the network, the rail network here, really isn't going to have that much traffic. And boop, boop, boop. And I guess we'll go diagonal up here. That should be 45 degrees. Trains don't go to stations if it would cause an actual traffic jam. Yeah, we're only using chain signals. Um, so they're not allowed to stop in any block except to stop for a train stop. If one of them is passing all the way back to the space elevator, the other trains will wait for them to pass. Okay, is that perfect 45 degrees? I don't think so. It is not. Uh, how about this one? Yeah, that's too close. It makes it look weird with the way it renders. The bulk rail loader on top of the lighted pylon. This will have to do. Wait, does that cover? Yes, it does. All right. Apparently, we've got a break. A break in the chain here. Looks like everything else is built. Let's go back to the corner. Thirty nine per cent on mining prod eighteen. One more and we've got the power. Fantastic. One more drill to go and we are out of here. How much rail do we have left? Three hundred and thirty four. I think it's Probably enough. Tabin. Let's see. Uh, front right. Probably like this. So how much rail is this? Ghost decon planner. Oh, you're kidding. Wait, 321. Wow. We have like 13 rail left after this. That's fantastic. 
Because I'm pretty sure we don't have what we need to, like, handcraft some more rail while we're here. Poggers, indeed. Very poggers. Alright. Oh, I forgot to check. We should double check that the trains have path to the last one that we just made. Are you having trouble outputting? You are. That's fantastic, but uh, it's not what I want right now. I'm not surprised by this. We would have reached the point of saturation a while ago. Okay. Can you path all the way up here? Yes, you can. Fantastic. Good to know. What's your opinion on Pyanodons? Uh, I haven't tried it, so I can't really say. Although it sounds like all the complexity of SE without the fun toys. Don't make me think we've run out of rail. That's that's just too cruel. Fantastic. Okay. Is this max distance? I'm sure it is. No, it's not. Why was I sure it is? That lines up unfortunately. So does that. Hmm. Mm. Not happy, Jen. I guess we could just move this back like a couple of tiles. Make make it make it one more. Wait. I thought that was max distance. It shouldn't have let us do that. Alright, something like this. Where did my green wire go again? Okay. Now we just connect all this up. Double check it's connected and powered. Make sure a train has path. We already added signals. not connected to main. Oh, I know where it's not connected. That'll be it. There we go. Cool. Double check that we have path. Maybe I should have forced the next train to wait until we were ready for it. I guess it's not going to take too long till this one's ready. At the stacker. Wait. Okay. 
We have path. Fantastic. All right. So that's a wrap. That is 21 drills. Uh, 21 drills on Bombato. Giving us 230, almost 240 core frags per second. From one outpost. And we haven't even tapped as much as we could on this planet. But it would probably take like 5 to 10 more drills to get up to like 265. If that. So I don't really want to keep expanding it. Trim surface. And that's it. That's Bombato. I don't think we'll be expanding it anymore. Let's save. So now we want, uh, want to go back and speed up the processing block for Bombato. Even if we don't put Prod 9s in it for now, we're going to benefit a lot from speeding it up. And who cares if we're consuming... Who cares if we're getting less Prod bonus out of infinite resources for the moment? Back to the ship. If I can remember where to go... up the elevator. Why is my keyboard slipping? Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh, we need to go via Foenestra. Moon orbit, double one eight zero. We've already got the Arcolink storage done. We don't need to do that. In orbit, 1180 is Hagen Orbit. We'll change destination to that once we get to the anomaly. Okay. I don't know if we've got everything in place. Actually, we might do. There's only eight speed modules here, though. Yeah, I kind of carried all of them. Uh, so we're going to have to wait till we get back. How many do I have right now? 60. Okay, that's plenty. Way more than enough efficiency modules for the moment. Um, we need 96 prod modules to fully upgrade this block. But we can definitely speed and efficiency it. And it'll probably go faster than the final product is going to. Have you collected our Arcospheres yet? Uh, actually, no. They are sitting here. Oh, or rather, they're sitting here. 42 New Arcospheres. Uh, wait for inactivity. Go over here. Wait till empty. And then come back to the mall. Cool, cool, cool. That's another two pair of Aku links if we want them. Which we will. But more to the point, I'm glad that we're still getting more than 40 from each set of 500 launches. Speaking of which, 
Uh, we've only got 100 Arco Collectors here. It's going to be a while before we can do that again. Especially while we're spamming modules and doing science. Naquium cube shortage. Not what I was expecting. Uh, Naquium ingot. Uh, I think we looked here earlier. The ingots were actually slow as well. Hmm. Isn't this the wrong number of efficiency modules? Whatever, it's not super critical right now. Wait, so are our inputs actually saturated over here? Crushed Naquitite, crushed Naquitite, looks like it. So what's, what's up with these belts? How, how hungry are you? Crushed Naquitite, uh, 160 per second, damn. Was due to the green liquid stuff. Uh, what about the green liquid stuff? Oh yeah, beryllium hydroxide. I remember now. But also, this belt looks a bit slower than I would think. Um, yeah, we're wanting 160. That's closer to two belts than to one belt. We're direct belting in just one belt to this container, and then we have one belt coming out here, and there's nothing coming out from here. I, okay, I can, I can see how that was, you know, not a bottleneck that we cared about way back when we built that, but it actually has become relevant now. We've got beryllium hydroxide for the moment. Um... For the moment. There's a lot more of it here than there was before. I wonder what's going on. I think this has been saturated the whole time. So it's not spaceship arrivals. But maybe it was just consumption of beryllium ingots. Yeah, maybe that was just a bit bursty. We've only got storage for 1.4 train loads here. Hmm. Anyway, we'll want to make some slight tweaks to that. Um, but most importantly, we need to actually move this bottleneck. Station is imbalanced? Yeah, I know. It's because trains aren't actually delivering that stuff. It's just, uh, it's just direct belted into one side. Can't really see a good way to fix that with the pumps in the way. I guess we could like belt it over this way, then down here, then up here and into here or something. Not ideal. In any case, it's not as if Naquium ingots have stopped. God, to think we might actually have to expand this as well. But first I'd like to get prod 9s all the way through it. Okay. Uh, it's getting close to time to finish, which is just as well, because I am about to crash. What should we do for the last 15 plus minutes? Just 
thought I was doing better than yesterday, but uh, hits me like a wall lately. All I really want to do right now is keep pushing the bottlenecks for Vitamelange. But our ETA back to Hagen orbit is another three game minutes. How much, how valuable is it at the moment to push Picard's bottlenecks like that as well? Well, there's definitely some value in it. How much are we getting as is? From Bombato right now. 206 uh, Vitam Lunch per second, which turns into, if everything is prod 9 let pretend all of it was going through this block or all of them were prod 9 uh, 206 becomes almost exactly 752 call it 750 vitamelange nuggets per second uh, so what about 680 bloom per second Maybe 260 spice per second. What's this ratio? Ten spice becomes three to eight extract, but with prod bonuses. So very back of the envelope calculation, let's just say one spice becomes half an extract. Uh, and I can't remember where we were at. So like what, 100 or 200 extract per second, that kind of ballpark? We're looking for 554. If all of these builds had to run continuously, which I seriously doubt. Yeah, we might need another Vitamelange outpost yet. Um, there was one planet left that's very, very big for Vitamelange that we haven't tapped. Larifon. Oh, also... Her Hermione? Hermione? Is that how you spell it? Hermione? I don't know. So we've already got Picard, Bombato, two of the four biggest Vidamelange planets. If we get the other two, I imagine we can keep up with our very ambitious goals. So we need four of these outposts on average? I don't know. I don't know how much we actually need, necessarily. I haven't tried to... factory planner the entire... game. Like the girl from Harry Potter, okay. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll go to Picard. Uh, maybe off-screen. How many drills do we have on Picard? Already? Only 11. That's 160 per second already. Damn. That's a bit more than I was expecting. We'd literally need like one or two more drills to bottleneck on the tier 6 module processing block. If I, if I just built this while I was here, then that would probably stay saturated. Are we still scanning? Yeah, we are. Good. This one's going to be much more of a pain to get to some of the drills. It's going to be more landfill, cliff explosions. I guess there's not as many trees. 
In any case, definitely a podcast task. But yeah, I, I think we probably are going to need one or two more of the big Vita outposts. Just do a calculate on the whole base. That can actually take a long time if you just rate calc over the entire thing like this. Looks like we're not struggling for Matter Science Pack 2s since we fixed that. Are we still researching? We are not. We ran out of Deep Space 4. I guess that's not surprising. Uh, that's probably why our Naquium is so sparse right now. Because we wanted to spam de uh, Deep Space 4 Tesseracts. Yeah. Do it? No. How about, how about this? Okay, I think it's not taking that long because it doesn't actually rate calc the... Oh. Oh, it doesn't actually, like, freeze the game. I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't think it shows it through the, like, fog of war, but... You can kind of see the uh, little dots appearing on the buildings as it scrolls down. That is actually surprisingly fast for everything it's doing. Wow. And considering it didn't slow the game to a crawl to do that either. Hmm. All right, fine. Rate calc the entire orbital base. See how long it takes. UPS is still 30. It's not noticeably slowing the game down. And there it is. Wow. I do not remember it being that, uh, that fast. Someone's done a good job at programming? Yeah, I would say so. Wait, I need to check. Rate calc where the fog of war is. It does work. Huh. I thought it didn't. We're capable of 2.7k antimatter stream per second. We're not going to need... We're probably only going to need a third of that when we get rid of most of the spaceships. Probably doing it in another thread, maybe. Okay. Probably should fix this damn Naquium bottleneck. It's probably just going to shift it to beryllium hydroxide, but that's fine. Um, wait, this belt is empty now. It doesn't even matter. It didn't even matter? Wait, what? How is this? Oh, there it goes. It's running out. Hmm. Might need a few more ships moving Naquatite. I'm seriously considering some other arrangement, um, though. Since, I mean, <sighs> Naquatite's literally the worst for stack size. Um, stack size 10 when you mine it and you're going to want to move it back to a planet if you want to use prod modules on it although the amount that we consume is not that large either relative to how much we can move it but still I was thinking maybe for Naquatite we could have one pair of Arcolink chests for each surface that we're getting the uh, Naquatite from. 
And maybe we could just use spaceships to teleport the Nacrotide around on the surface. But then they'd have to come back home to get antimatter or something every once in a while, and that might be just as much of a pain to program. Sounds great. In-system ships? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Because otherwise we have to build like a rail, a giant rail system, or really, really, really long belts. Spaceships don't cost that much UPS if they're just sitting still, I think. All we have to do is make them take off with, like we do with our regular haulers. Core ink hauler, whatever. Um, they have a memory cell for two purposes. One is to hold a destination to go to after we get to Foenestra. Uh, and the other is to hold an adjustment to the... Anchor to target left clamp, I think it is, yeah. Uh, so, basically we would have the ship receive, like, have its memory cell wiped whenever it lands, receive a new anchor to target uh, clamp. Once it's full, it takes off, and then it'll just instantly land at a different... Uh, target clamp. And then I guess program it to fly home when it gets low enough on the antimatter stream. I suppose. That way it can also send power through. Just use Arco links to send antimatter through. Uh, then we would have to send antimatter canisters. Which. Uh, when we empty them. Oh, isn't it on these ships? Spit out mag canisters when they're emptied. Hmm. Hmm. I really don't want to make a pair of Arco links, like, for each. Well, it, it wouldn't be a pair. It would be one Arco link chest for each outpost on the same surface. And then a pair to send it back to Hagen would be the easiest and smoothest way to do things, but even if we only ever have, like, three to five Naquim outposts running at a time, I don't really want to... I don't want to use that many friggin' Arco Link chests just for that. Can use the same outpost and home Arco Link too. Uh, that's true. So that's one less. For the in system ships, yeah. Maybe it's worth. It looks like, uh. It looks like the ships are keeping up with the Naquitite that we're mining, though. If this is all not saturated. Huh. And we've only got like five haulers for the Naquitite right now. Three outposts mining. 